hi in this video I will show you how to filter a SharePoint list column type yes or no values using power automate so this is my list it's called list a and I got a column called open points W which holds yes or no values here so let's go back to list settings click the relevant column which is the yes or no value here and that's a checkbox so, so to find the scheme and aim for the filters always um, you know go to the edit column and at the end of the URL you know make sure this is the name you need to use in the power automate you can see here the column name has some spaces which is a display name so this the column name is the display name and the scheme name is the field name which, which we need to use for for filtering the values also under my list a i got one record which is set to as here so let's go and build the power automate so here i'm using a manual trigger the next step i need to use sharepoint connector and here i am after get items okay now we need to set the filter query here so use the schema column name which is open points w is equal to make sure we need to use one here the reason for one is one represents the value yes and zero means it represents the no values so make sure we need to use one we can't use here single quotes yes or single quotes no here because the data type is an yes or no value okay the next step we need to use a compose add a title dash open points w okay let's test this also you make sure uh, you, you you might have seen that there is an apply to each being um, inserted by the flow the reason for this is because the get items can return more than one records okay here we expect title 4 so only one record it should return yes so he returned only one record here and it's the right record we got so let's go back to power automate so we use the get items and under the filter query we use the right schema name of that column name which is equal to one remember one means yes and zero means no that's the way we filter the yes or no column values using the power automate thank you for watching